My father-in-law bought it in Thunder Bay in 1963, and Tess drove it in Lake Superior, where the waves tore off both windshield wipers. Bought it because he had a cottage eight miles from his home, and it was a pain in the butt to get to. So this thing, when he bought it, made all the sense in the world because you could load the car at home and drive out to the lake and across the lake and park it beside the cottage instead of loading a car, unloading it, loading it a boat and lugging it up to the cottage. Everyone thought he was nuts, but he had an absolute ball with it. I'm Fred Pierce and I drive a 1963 Amphicar Model 770. Amphicar was in existence for five years. They made about 3,700 in the five years they uh, were in business and we figured there's about 300 left that are seaworthy. They're all the same. They came in red, white, blue, and aqua, which is what this is. It's a model 770. It does 70 in the water and 70 on land. They came stock with one bilge pump, just in case you really need it. My father-in-law was out, and they were having a bit of a party in the back lake, Pewabiska, near north of Hearst, and he was with an OPP, and they decided, uh, the OPP decided he needed to go to the bathroom and opened that door to take a pee, and down she went. And that was, uh, an expensive pee. Well, it's, you do have to have a marine license because when I hit the water, I'm a boat, and on land, I'm a car. As a boat, it's a little strange because both props, it's dual propellers, they turn the same way, so it loves turning right, it doesn't like turning left. So if you happen to be in a tight harbor, you want to plan your turns long ahead. Uh, you can run in the shallows with the wheels going as well. So on the east side of Lake Simcoe near Brecon where it's shallow, you can run with the wheels going and you'll hit a sandbar and the bow comes up and it's an absolute ball. This is a 42 horsepower Triumph Herald motor, 1127 cc's. You can drive it down the highway 460 miles an hour with one finger on the wheel. Oh no, it's not going to get sold. I will never sell the car. I told my daughter uh, for years and years, she better marry a mechanic because she's going to get this car someday. And lo and behold, she married the nicest guy who happens to be a mechanic.